Now, lawyers for the UK's only gender identity clinic have defended the use of hormone treatments after it was claimed children can't properly understand the lifelong implications the drugs can have. The High Court was told that puberty blockers for children considering swapping gender provide time for deliberation and discussion and are reversible. But 23-year-old Kira Bell, who was given the treatment at the age of 16, says she feels she made a rash decision as a teenager which will negatively affect the rest of her life. Sky's Emma Birchley reports now. As a teenager, Kira Bell wanted to become a boy. Now she sees the transition she underwent as a temporary and superficial fix for a complex identity issue. That's why she brought her case to the High Court, arguing that children should not be able to give informed consent to receive hormone-blocking drugs delaying puberty. When I was put on the hormone blockers, I had no real idea of how it was going to affect me in reality on a day-to-day -day basis. And, um, you know, I was uh, just very eager to get on the cross-sex hormone. The legal action against the Tavistock and Portman NHS Trust, which runs the country's only gender identity clinic for children, is also being taken by the mother of a 16-year-old on the waiting list for treatment. It's the age Kira was when she started taking the hormone blockers prescribed for some not yet out of primary school. Are they able to understand the nature of the information that they are being given? Do they have sufficient life experience? And we say for children as young as 10, 11, 12, to be able to weigh up the loss of fertility, the loss of sexual function, uh, is simply not possible. But the barrister representing the Gender Identity Service told the court that it was up to clinicians to ensure the child understood the consequences before being prescribed any drugs, and that such decisions follow robust international guidelines. Fenella Morris QC explains how prescribing puberty blockers allows time for further discussion and deliberation about how to proceed in the future, and the effects are in fact reversible. There are many, like Alex Vellins, who have no regrets. He says the journey to being prescribed the medication was very thorough. Obviously, I understand why the process exists, and they were like, nope, we have to wait. We have to give the four to six appointments that are necessary across six months. It took me 18 months to get on them for whatever reason. But <laughs> my point is, it took a long time, and it was really frustrating, and I understand why it takes a long time, but please don't make it take any longer time. Kira's experience has been very different. She stopped taking testosterone last year, now she's left regretting the decisions she made as a teenager. It's a path she wants to prevent others from following. She'll have to wait a few weeks to hear the court's decision. Emma Birchley, Sky News.